Welcome to Face to Face. Our guest today is Bandana Rao. She is a co-founder of Center for Arts and Wellness. And this Saturday, she is organizing Raga and Rhythm dance, dance competition for Dance America. And uh, a, a week later, she's also organizing uh, a music program. So we're going to talk to her that how she came up with this idea and how this program is going to organize and what are the details are for both dance program as well as uh, the music program. So Badna, welcome to our show. Thank you so much for having me, Upendra. It's sure, it's a <laughs> pleasure to talk to you. And uh, so let us start with uh, Raga Rhythm uh, concept and uh, how, when it is and how the dance competition is going to play out. Sure. Um, myself and my co-founder uh, for Center for Arts and Wellness, Hema Yangar, both of us are uh, very much into the classical arts, uh, especially Indian dance and music forms. And our approach to the center has always been to help foster, encourage, um, and facilitate um, both these types of or streams of classical arts in addition to other types of art forms. Um, and Ragaritham was a performance series that was conceptualized by us a few years ago. And we've hosted several mini betaks and concerts over the years. This year, because of uh, the situation we are in with COVID and the lack of any opportunities to do live programs, we decided to take it online and offer a virtual platform for students um, as well as both young and experienced of both the dance genre as well as music genres too. And this is extending across North America, like US and Canada. Right. So we opened it up because it's virtual. We opened it up to people all across the country. And in fact, for we've even gotten uh, entries from Canada. So it is truly a North American wide uh, program. Tomorrow, which is December 5th uh, at 3 p.m., we begin our dance competition, um, which uh, for which we've received over 120 entries from across the continent. Mm -hmm. uh, we have representation from over 20 different states within uh, within the country, and we feel really privileged and honored to have such vast and encouraging input from so many. Uh, so, so now uh, let's talk a bit about this competition. So, it is a solo dance competition, or uh, multiple dancers, or what type of dances? If you can talk about that. Sure. Um, we focus this time on classical and folk dance. Mm -hmm. In the classical dance stream, uh, we are open to Bharatanatyam, Kathak, Odissi, Kuchipudi, Manipuri, any style of Indian classical dance. We also wanted to give an opportunity for those who are learning pure folk dance to come and perform. Mm -hmm. uh, we do understand that a lot of these dances, especially on the folk side, are done in groups. And so it's a little challenging during this time, but we did get entries in that uh, genre as well. So anything that is classical or folk is what we um, accepted for this dance competition. Yep. And uh, we are uh, we also accepted both solo as well as um, duo dances. And we had an option for group as well. Mm -hmm. So now uh, if somebody wants to watch this program, uh, of course they have to register to get the, all the password, et cetera, right? It's going yes. to be on Zoom, right? That's right. It'll be a Zoom virtual uh, webinar, if you will, or a program. Sure. If you go to our website, centerforartsandwellness.com slash events, uh, you'll be able to come to a page where uh, we are offering tickets. So they're very nominally priced. The idea is to really get as many enthusiasts to, uh, to watch and appreciate uh, the talent that we have across the country. It begins at 3 p.m. tomorrow, December 5th. And um, you'll see the, a live streaming of our program at that time. And now will these uh, programs will be judged, of course, in the competition? Yes. And you have judges every... We, we have been really fortunate to get, I would say, almost an international panel of judges. We have judges from across this country and from India as well. Some really eminent dancers in all the streams that I talked about have, have judged our uh, contestants. We have nine different judges. Um, that have um, judged our contestants across various age groups. So we've offered this for four different age groups, starting as young as uh, six years of age. So our real young, budding, enthusiastic um, dancers also participated. We have a six to eight category, nine to 13, 14 to 17, and 18 and above. Um, and we've gotten an amazing response in all of those um, age categories. 
So now after this, uh, uh, the dance uh, competition, it is being followed by um, a music program. That's so correct. tell us about the music program. When is that and what is the... Uh, sure. Um, so for music, uh, the program is the following Saturday, which is December 12th. That also starts at 3 p.m. And uh, the music competition is open for both Hindustani and Karnatak streams of music, classical and semi-classical, solo and duo. So we wanted to be as wide and open to be able to draw in um, all kinds of different uh, interests and um, types of students. And again, the age groups are the same from you know, starting at age six, going to the adults. Um, and in that competition as well, we have really amazing set of judges. We have 10 judges, five in the Karnataka track, five in the Hindustani track, several uh, eminent uh, singers and musicians from India, as well as uh, the US who will be judging that competition. So that will be classical music, uh, no Bollywood, right? Just a... No Bollywood. Okay. Um, we do have a semi-classical stream. So in the semi-classical stream, as long as, if it's a film song, it's allowed as long as there is a classical element to it. And as all of your um, listeners may know that many film songs are directly based on- <laughs> Sure, yeah. Songs. And there are many great classical songs in the movie Absolutely. as well. So. Absolutely. So we, we, did, we wanted to encourage those type of singing as well, where people can apply their classically based training to other genres. It could be a bhajan, it could be a ghazal, it could be a thumri um, or a tappa or any other kind of sort of applied or classical, uh, semi-classical um, uh, genre that were, were welcome for this. Yeah. Now, um, also this year marks the fifth anniversary of a Center for Arts and Wellness. So just tell us a little bit about Center for Arts and Wellness and how the last five years has had been. Um, yeah, it's been an incredible journey, I must say. We started with uh, Hema Ayangar, who's a Bharatanatyam uh, teacher, and myself, I teach in the Stani Classical. We started with just our students. Uh, so mm -hmm. two teachers and a small group of students. We now have over 25 teachers. Mm -hmm. teaching over 20 different styles of music, dance, art, and well wellness uh, related classes. We've really grown quite a bit, way beyond our expectations. There's been so much of support, I think, from the people around uh, in Massachusetts and around the area where we were. And now even virtually people are uh, coming to take our classes from across our state borders um, as well. So it's been a fantastic journey of growth, of learning, of advancement um, and understanding of our classical and other art forms. In music, for example, on our Western track, we have guitar, piano, Western voice, clarinet, saxophone. Um, on the Indian classical stream, we have tabla, mridangam, bansuri, um, git Hindustani guitar, Hindustani and Karnatic vocal, um, Karnatic violin. Um, so there's a lot to choose from. And on the dance side, we have Kathak, Bharatanatya, Odyssey, and of course, Bollywood dance, which is popular among a lot of kids, especially these days. Um, we also have a wellness stream, as our name uh, points out. Uh, we do classes in yoga. Uh, we host sessions in meditation. Um, and for us, really, our art form is our spirituality and our wellness. So it felt like a really good, strong tie to uh, marry both the art and wellness side for our, for our center and for our concept. So, so what, are the, what are the things you do uh, under the banner of uh, wellness? So we have dabbled in a lot and under the banner of wellness. So we've dabbled in Ayurvedic treatments. We used to have a practitioner who offered that at the center. We have offered lots of different kinds of yoga classes over the years um, for kids. Uh, young kids from the age six and eight onwards, as well as to adults. We have offered stress management classes, meditation sessions. Uh, we've offered uh, the Brahma Kumaris used to offer meditation sessions at our center um, for at least a couple of years. Um, and we do different kinds of uh, stress coping trainings for our own students by bringing other practitioners on board. Um, so we try to offer things for our own students, but also obviously open it up to um, anybody in, in our communities that feels that this is of value. value yeah. And them. these classes are uh, offered to these days, you know, from, uh, from the 
Zoom, like, you know, from teachers, and you also have a studio. That's right. Um, we had a studio. We now are 100% virtual. Um, I think probably like everybody else. Sure, uh, sure. Everything is offered online. All our teachers and our students had to quickly learn how to do that uh, and do it very effectively now uh, with the experience of over now seven, eight, uh, nine months or so. Uh, it seems to be working really well. We haven't lost any students because mm -hmm. of that. I think those that felt skeptical initially um, and realize that this is now the new way of life, at least for some time, um, you know, just quickly were able to adapt. And I think this model is likely to continue, right? A the full virtual time. model. It doesn't seem like it's going to let up, although with, with a vaccine around the corner, it seems um, there's some positive hope here. Um, but at least for the next six months, I would say this is, this is going to continue. Okay. Um, one last question for you is, so I think after um, uh, you said you said about close to 126 people have signed up for the dance competition, right? Mm -hmm. Close to that. Correct. That's yeah. correct, right? That's and right. what? And go ahead. What about for the music competition? In music, we've had about 150 or so. So it's been the response has been tremendous and overwhelming, uh, and so so encouraging. Um, we've gotten instrumental um, as well as vocal from all across. And at the moment music teachers from across, like in Texas, California, uh, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, all, all of, you know, from all over the country, they're hearing about us. They are really encouraging their students to participate and be part of it. So it's, it's been tremendous, uh, way beyond our expectations. Okay. Well, uh, Bandana, thank you very much and all the best for both of your programs. Thank you so much. We really sure. appreciate uh, being here and the support of all your audience. Please do uh, um, attend, be part of our programs, uh, Center for Arts and Wellness.com. Um, and we'd love to. Thank you. Thanks so much.